Oh, hey boys, it is me, uh, Large Intestine Leonardo here. How are you? I'm very good. Let's play some music. This is going to be another Theory Crafted build. So, as I've kind of mentioned, uh, you know, sporadically through my videos over the past few weeks, I do have a lot of shit that I haven't actually gotten to yet. So, this is one of them that's been on my list and I've finally gotten to it. So, um, with the release of Sunder Charms, it has made me look back through my list of garbage and thought about is it worth retesting on my end with Sunder Charms? See how it holds up, right? This is one of them that I was happy with and I thought you guys would get a kick out of. So what exactly is this? As you can see down here, we're using Vengeance. So this is going to be a Vengeance Paladin, but with a you know slight twist on it, right? So maxing out Vengeance. So we've got, obviously, Fire, Cold, and Lightning damage. And what I wanted to do with this is not just make your typical Vengeance Paladin, whatever that may be. I really wanted to have max fire damage, max cold damage, max lightning. And what better way to do that with having all of these auras, right? So we've got Doom, which is giving us Holy Freeze. We've got Dream, which is giving us Holy Shock. And we've also got Dragon, which is giving us Holy Fire. So we have all of those, as well as Fanaticism, with only one point, just to give us enough attack rating to reach higher frames. So as you can see down here, we've got one, two, three, four points, right? But if we feel like we want to swap to something more defensive, we have our Maxed Out Salvation, which helps us counteract all of the negative res on our Sunder Charms, all right? So it's not the your, your best expected way to make a Vengeance Paladin, but I wanted something that looks fucking cool and that has all the auras. Because in my eyes, this looks like a, a true Vengeance Paladin, right? This is what I would want to run. It looks cool. So let's get into it, boys. Stat skills gear, and then, you know, we'll, we'll flap around and kill some boys, boys. So, level 99 template character offline to do all this testing. Our strength, we don't actually have bugger all in there because we have Enigma and a Mage Plate, and of course your typical Hellfire and Annihilus Torch, right? Dexterity is a bit higher to give us um, enough attack rating and also block chance with our one point into Holy Shield, which I'll show over here, boys. So base one up to level 17, and also to kind of compensate for our lack of attack rating charms. So if you build something like this, you can have more attack rating charms. So perhaps you'd want that with higher damage instead of the combat skillers. But that's fine. I don't mind putting extra here, and I felt like I had enough in vitality. Uh in conjunction with my CTA, right? So my life is gonna look pretty good. Swapping back over to here. So, as we can see, our resistances are not too bad. My fire is, is a little bit lower. What I did have before to fix my fire ears is I had my Elder's Boots, so that gives uh, between 40 and 50 fire ears, I believe, so you can chuck that in there. There's also a few other options, right? You can go for rear boots with all your other res and um, like faster hit recovery and, and so on and so forth. But I didn't mind having this, and I felt like I could really benefit from Gore Riders in this build. So, for tricky areas where I feel like I really need that fire res covered, I can just simply swap out to my Salvation. So if I exit here, chuck on Salvation, I go back. As you can see, it is obviously all maxed out. So, moving over to skills, right? We can see I'm 84 on cold res. At level 99, we are not perfectly maxed out there. We've got one point off for our cold res, right? So, let's start at combat skills and work our way through. So down here we have 1.1 this down to 1 into Holy Shield. That is enough. We're saving everything for synergies of Vengeance. Maxing out Vengeance with our combat skillers, right? And all of these synergies I wanted to max out. Because I, I know if you break down the numbers, boys, Lightning is the best, you know, rocking two dreams. And if you have one of those, it's... It's going to be higher damage on, on the high end in comparison to cold. Um, fire damage is pretty strong. It has a higher average damage, but usually it's beaten out by, by lightning and holy shock. So I wanted to even the board along with uh, holy freeze from our doom and then one dragon and one dream. I wanted it to be a, a, a more true and more even 
elemental coverage of damage. So what better way to do that than to finish all of these synergies rather than just the best ones, which would be obviously fire and lightning. So maxing out vengeance and then offensive auras, we have 1.1 down here to give us attack speed where we would need it and also a little bit of attack rating too. So this helps with um, finishing off bosses and higher player counts and whatnot. But defensive auras is where we have the rest. Maxing salvation, maxing lightning, maxing fire, and then pretty much maxing cold. We just took one point out so we can make it down here down to fanaticism. Kind of easy peasy, right? So moving over to gear. We have our Doom and a Berserker Axe. That's the best base to have it in, in my opinion. Um, the only downside of having this is everyone knows the durability of Berserker Axes are kind of low at 26, right? So we've got Dream and a Grand Crown. What's my preference? Because I like the look of it, right? Uh, I've got my uh, I've got my faster cast rate amulet. Doesn't need to be 20, but with our current setup, it helps us meet over. 75 fcr so we have 80 here if i feel like i want to swap out one of my rings for raven frost and get that cannot be frozen then i can do so i just have to you know bear in mind that i lower my fcr breakpoint now enigma and our mage plate which saves us a lot of strength we have a drag then the sacred Taj gives us a lot of res um, and then over to our gore riders our trangs which is better than mage fists because it gives us that cold res and on switch boys cta spirit Small charms is life and res. We have our triple sunder charms over here to give us that coverage. And combat skillers, just to bump up our vengeance a little bit higher at 36, which also increases our attack rating bonus with the skill and all of our fire, cold, and lightning damage, right? So the only other thing left we have to cover here is Azrael. He has got blessed aim to give us attack rating. He's rocking fortitude and Dariels and infinity he is going to be covering our conviction instead of us having to put points into conviction that's going to allow us to maximize all the synergies of vengeance which was really the the idea i had for this build right so we are on currently players one i'm going to start with that clear a few areas and then we can go on from there boys and, and pick it up to players eight yeah so Bear in mind that this is a single target skill, right? So if you have used Vengeance, it is exactly the same frames as if we are using a basic attack. So immediately it is limited with AoE. But maxing out the synergies of our auras, it does help us give a bit more AoE. And with our Enigma, even though we are single target, this allows us to teleport, minimize that time running between different mobs and to kind of pick off elites and certain enemies. So I really wanted to keep this with this build right so let's get started hey swap on over battle command battle orders holy shield over here we have max block at over 10k we have 85 percent attack rating vengeance before blessed aim we are good to go so vengeance is all over over 11k damage I wish we could see the split in here like we can in Max Roll Planner Boys of like all the elemental damage so we can see exactly what cold is doing, exactly what lightning and fire. But for that sort of thing, we can definitely go to our planner to have a look at right, right? At right, right, right? Jesus. Where else should we go? Um, that was pretty easy. All right, uh, let's go up to players three and let's go over to River of Flame. Mm. Bear in mind, boys, that with Conviction, only one-third effectiveness is applied after Sunder Charms, but it's still worth having. I could definitely get more minus resistance if I had my own Conviction. That's definitely a, a variant that we, could, that we could try, right? Now, Chaos Sanctuary is one of those places you know that you can get lower resistance cast on you, so it's good that we have our um, Salvation here. Let's actually swap back to fanaticism for now, and then when we get cast with minus resistances, then we can swap back. We do have 30 fire res, so that's definitely on me for not speaking right. Well, it's just because I, I I was swapping a few character files over, boys, and I I deleted my old character file which had my elders boots, so that's why it's not in this video. I'm not gonna cry. It's only elders boots, okay? Swap back to Salvation. 
So initially it, it does look a little bit underwhelming because it's a single target build. And I think all of the single target builds, they kind of struggle um, to look good in showcase videos like this, you know? But it, but it can do very well. As you know, uh, that Paladins are very versatile in terms of their out different outputs of damage that they can deal, um, and also all of their defensive and utility skills are kind of crazy. One of the best classes for sure. Undoubtedly so. So going into builds like this, it's, it's important to have your expectations, I guess, lowered a bit, right? You can't compare this to high AoE performing classes in any sense because it is single target, but it doesn't mean that it can't handle and clear things as a single target build. With some single target and melee builds, I I would always want to run them on the high end. Oh my god, it's a fucking mix rune, boys! This is my first high rune that I've found uh, testing offline. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, shit. What was I saying? Uh, usually with single target builds, oh my god. Um, on the higher, I'm I'm so thrown off, boys. Usually, sorry. <sighs> I wish this was ladder so I could keep that vex room. With high-end single target builds, they fall off quite quickly when you compare their clear speed, magic finding ability, um, just solely like how many monsters you can kill per hour, right? And there's not many out there, uh, but. I would always recommend speed on these. So if we didn't have Enigma, we would want run speed, faster run walk charms if you were leveling up and, and vice versa. Um, also one build, oh sorry, one um, piece here that I don't have on this build is a point into Vigor. So I felt like I don't need this because I have Enigma and Enigma does give us, you know, the highest fast run walk bonus on any piece of armor. So that's a, that's a bloody bonus, isn't it boys? God damn it, I'm dropping that big and I don't want to see it. Oh. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope you've found more high runes than me on ladder. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I knew it was going to happen eventually, right? Wowee. Lord Decease, get out of here. Let's move on. Having our Holy Freeze from Doom is good to add a bit of crowd control, which does kind of slow down the the high damage that we take teleporting into packs. So with single target builds like this, they do struggle um, because of the AoE clear. You take a lot of damage from a lot of sources before you can kind of whittle down and, and really minimize the group of mobs around you. Another reason why they're not as popular, right? So this is players 3, Diablo, let's switch to our fanaticism. Teleport over, don't want to die. Attack rating sitting at 81%. There we go. Not bad, eh? I could definitely uh, benefit from having more uh, crushing blow and things and obviously may maybe a different weapon with higher speed more crushing blow Maybe like a death would be a good one to mess around with right? But just for the boys and girls sitting there leaning back in their chair wondering Billy just play on players 8 mate I gotta see if it's good. Why don't you show if it's a bit good? Yeah, so let's go players 8 We'll start with pits and then move up a couple of places. All right Shall we buff up again Israel? Why not? It's cool seeing the Hydras as well as uh, the Venom from our shield, which is pretty nifty actually. Level 18 Venom. Is it this way? Absolutely not. We can kill the Elite then.
So this is players eight to Mori Highlands so far. Pit. Uh, shout out to my garbage PC for giving us decent load screens today. You guys have probably noticed in my previous videos, <laughs> a lot of them are just kind of stutter or pause or freeze for a bit. Um, trust me, I'm more than aware, okay? I'm more than aware. My PC does what it can, okay? I work, I, I, I work with what I got, alright boys? I'm not jacked to the tits with, you know, cash. I gotta waste a lot of that on, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure I can say a lot of funny stuff. Like, one of those would probably be my, um, Thomas the Tank Engine Coaster, which I'm pretty proud of. Love that thing. Dumb shit like that, right? Right there is a perfect example of your single target build, right? On the high end. Obviously, we have the damage output. But we lack the AoE. So we're slapping everything here. They're all dying, taking a shit ton of damage. But it just takes a little bit longer for us to go through and deal that individual damage to each individual target. So that's why things like this are not as popular. But if it's something you want to try and look fucking cool, boys, with your bloody quad aura, it's definitely an option. Let's teleport up here. Find level two. The volcanoes we have spawning from our doom. We have firestorm from hellfire torch, as you know. We have hydras, which are spawning from dragon. We have venom as well, and then we also get a bit of crowd control from dream. Don't forget, boys. Ten percent chance to cast level fifteen confuse when struck, which is nice for AOE. I think that's good enough of a showing for the build, boys. What say you? Hey? Eh? What say you, boys? Try Aura, Vengeance, Paladin. Looks freaking cool with triple Sunder Charms. More than enough rares and everything to cover. You can build it with Fanaticism. You can go into Conviction and change your Mercenary around if you want to. But I like this variant, which maximizes all the synergies for our Vengeance, yeah? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to see this tested with something else. But yeah, I hope you boys are doing well. Um, yeah. I love awkward outros. It's very funny, isn't it?